Shopify checkout page customization complete guide for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can customize your checkout page on Shopify because oftentimes there is a point of a sale where people have added the product to their cart, they are going to purchase the product. However, when they reach the checkout page, which is this page over here, this is the page that ends up losing the most amount of customers. There are a lot of different techniques and marketing tactics that you can employ to improve improve the overall appearance of your checkout page and I am going to be discussing all that with you today. So I'm going to keep it very simple so you guys can follow along as we go. So the first thing we're going to do is go into our Shopify dashboard and in your Shopify dashboard a lot of people start building their store. But in your checkout page, it's really important to have your brand logos and your favicon. So what is a favicon? A favicon is the image of your logo that appears on a new tab. So to show you guys an example over here, this is a new tab. You, get, you guys can see it over here. And this is going to be the favicon. So oftentimes in uh, a lot of beginner Shopify websites, I noticed that they have added their store logo but they have things such as their favicons missing to add our favicons we're going to open up our shopify dashboard in your shopify dashboard there are a few different ways to do this but i'm just going to go into settings on the bottom left once i go into settings on the bottom left i can scroll down on the left now once you scroll down on the left you will see a section called brand so you're going to click on brand over here and once you click on your brand you can scroll and you will see your store logo and i'm going to remove this and add a default logo click on add images and upload the store logo that you want to use so i want to use this as my store logo and i'm just going to upload this image and then click on done then if you scroll down, you will see your primary colors. Now, this is also a very important thing to add uh, in terms of your checkout as well. So go ahead and add a primary color that you would be frequently using within your Shopify store. So I'm going to use a really light pink and then white as our contrasting color. And then I want to add a baby blue as our secondary color below that you can also choose to add another secondary color and another contrasting color then if you scroll down you also have a slogan short description and then social media links so make sure all of this has been inserted correctly then click on save on the top right now once you click on save we can go on ahead and move into the next section, which is going to be customizing our store and customizing the checkout page favicon or the checkout page or the general favicon. So for that, open up your Shopify dashboard and then click on online store on the left. Once you click on online store, click on customize on your current store. Now to access your checkout page on the Shopify website builder, on the top, you have the section called home page. Open this up and under the drop down, you will see your cart as well as checkout and new customer accounts. So open this section up and you will see your checkout page will now be, you know, opened up in front of you and you can actually adjust a lot of things over here. Now on the left, you will have your logo. So click on add image and then upload your logo image. Now, you also have the width of your logo and your logo alignment as well. So you can choose where you want to place the logo within the checkout page. Then you can also use a logo position and a background image. So I want to add a background image of, let's say, this particular product, and I can click on done over here. And now this will be inserted as a background image for the header. However, I'm going to keep it simple. Then we have our secondary background image which can be inserted as well and this will be inserted into the contact section now for a good image i would recommend that it has a black layover on top of it because you need to make sure that the contact and delivery section is readable and accessible to everyone or if you want some simple customizations you can always customize the color to add a touch of a individuality or personalization within your store 
So I recommend adding something along the lines of white, like a tinted color, instead of saturating the color. Then you also have background too, which is going to be this section. You can always make this your secondary accent color. So I will add a really nice little pale blue. And these are my brand colors. So when people see the brand colors reflected into the Shopify checkout page, that increases trust within your brand. If you scroll down, you also have color customizations of the accents and the buttons as well. You also have a typography section. In this section, you can change the font you want to use for the text present on top of your contact and your delivery and your shipping method. So basically your entire checkout page. You can also choose a different layout for your checkout. So currently by default, your Shopify checkout page is going to have a single page layout. If you want to customize this, click on one page on the left, and then you can choose a, th a three page checkout as well. Now, once you've done that, make sure to click on save on the top right, and then you can click on sections on the left most panel. Now, in your sections, you can customize by adding branding and you can do some customizations on your Shopify code to customize Shopify sections. But I recommend not doing too many customizations as they're going to make your, you know, the overall appearance of your checkout page look a bit too busy. However, there are a few more things I recommend for checkout pages. Those include free delivery labels or trust labels or badges. So for that, just click on exit over here, then click on settings on your Shopify dashboard. Scroll down and open up your apps and sales channels and then open up the Shopify app store. Now adding a label such as trusted by this organization or trusted or, you know, free delivery badges or a MasterCard badge, because studies have just shown that even having MasterCard or PayPal badges within your checkout pages actually do increase the amount of money people are spending. So I will add checkout badges and you can just search for this in the Shopify app store. And once you search for that, you will see trust badges and icons. You have trust badges bear, you have SEO and so I'm going to be using essential trust badges and icons and I'll just click on install over here. Once you click on install, it will be opened up in a new page. And from this new page, we're going to click on install. And once I click on install over here, I am going to be led to the apps section. Now in here, we're going to set up this app. So you can just click on create new badge over here. And for this, I want this to be in my cart page. And you also have a countdown timer you can add. So I want this type of uh, page and this is a free delivery. I'm, I can customize the design and content, but I just published this particular badge directly into my add to cart page on my store. So just like that, you can customize the appearance of your Shopify checkout pages and create a more cohesive brand image for your store. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.